Hey everybody, we're on the pay to win account and I am going to go over our attack as a dragon farmer. Now I know I've done this a couple of different times, but for spider and I'm going to have another one going for the campaign battle, but I do want to summon these four void charts I got before we get into the dragon. So let's just see what we get. Are you guys ready? So I do would love a Krisk for a hydra team eventually but let's just get these four in I, I feel like we're gonna get a legendary but you never know as always guys i didn't say anything but we believe in the heart of the cards and the power of friendship so we're gonna pull all of this and hopefully if we're lucky enough we can see some gold which i feel like i haven't pulled in a long time but also for the hero event this isn't too bad we just pulled the same champion twice what are the odds of that and we are going to not pull anything. Wow, wow, wow. Unlucky. Let's oh, let's pick our champion. I'm actually not sure which one to pick. I'm going to pick this guy. I'm not sure which of those four are the best to go for, but okay, we've got a soul drinker. Nothing crazy there. And I do believe I'm going to do the hero's path, but we'll see. Oh, we got a visionary. Visionary is actually pretty good, but... Let's go one more. Can we pull some gold? No. All right. Well, oh, we did get a miscreated monster, which is actually big. This is actually a really good pull. This guy's insane with his ally protect here. We got the stun, the Greek decreased defense. We have shielding. But then as you guys see here, we get fears whenever they attack people under. So that's actually really, really, really good. All right, let's get into the dragon. <laughs> let's get into the dragon. So here's what I've done for our attack. And if you watched the video right before this on clearing spider 20, which was extremely easy, it's as you see, it's the same build. And with me building him for spider, I have been able to push through all of my dungeons for spider, for dragon, and my campaign has been a, mil a million times easier as well. But let's just go through his, his skills again. On his A1, 35% chance to increase the duration of HP burns. Nothing crazy. His A2, we attack all enemies, but we instantly activate all HP burns on each enemy. And then we also get to place decrease attack. And then obviously on his A3, we place the HP burns, we restore max HP for each uh, attempt that is blocked or resisted. But he gets an extra 50% damage on his passive, you'll see here, whenever a debuff is activated. Extra 5%, but it stacks up to 50 extra 50% crit damage, defense, and damage, and then we get extra speed and resistance as well. Now, for my dragon team, it's not as good as my spider team, but it is 100%, which is all I'm shooting for. So this is the team I'm going with. I have the extra speed from Alatreon. Alatreon's in there for block debuffs and the huge shields. And then Rathalos is there because he does more damage for HP burns. Our attack is there for the HP burns. Doom Priest and Painkeeper are literally only there just so we can heal through the waves. That's it. So P PK has a bunch of healing. Doom Priest heals every turn. We also get an increased attack and the cooldown. So this is the team. And this is what I'm running. I'm going to run it like two times just to show you guys. It's not the fastest team in the world. I will tell you that. But for the most part, it gets the job done. So I will say the best thing that we need to happen for us to beat this is we need Rathalos, PK, Doom Priest, and Artak to live through the dragon. Now, probably don't need all of those champions, but getting the extra heal from PK and Doom Priest does a lot. And all we want to do is make it to the dragon with at least those champions. We could probably be fine with just Doom Priest, Artak, and Rathalos. But for my sanity, and so it's not as close... That's what the goal is to get all four of them. As you notice, our tag will get attacked because of the affinity difference. But as long as we have the heals to go through it, and as you see, his max H or his destroyed max HP is already stacking. So we pretty much go from there. I should probably change him to actually use his HP burn first before his Dogs of War. But as long as it works, I'm not too upset. And even though it's a little longer, I think it takes a couple minutes. Being able to clear it at 100% rate 
to be able to get a bunch of new gear and continually grow. But as you see, he's getting actually really low here. Oh, and he actually died. That's awkward. But we're going to let it run through because I believe we still beat it because Rathalos does crazy damage. So unfortunately, that's the first time I've seen Artak die when I pushed through Dragon so far. But I believe even with that, Rathalos just hits so hard. He hits so hard. I think I've seen him hit for 300k, 400k, I think even 500k on one of the abilities. So we'll see what happens. I do still think we beat it pretty easily. So maybe it's more of a Rathalos showcase than anything. But the HP burn gives Rathalos so much more damage that it's just, it's, it's a night and day difference for sure. So do, I mean, do we actually beat this? I actually don't know. Do we need Rathalos in there? Because he, he is losing out on a lot of damage. So I'm actually not sure. And there you go. There's 121k damage right there from one of his abilities. The remo remove debuff is really good for the poisons, for the decrease attack. It looks like we got this pretty easily. But this one's going to take a little longer. So I am going to show the second run, which hopefully does exactly what it's supposed to be. I feel like when you're making YouTube videos and you want to show something off, most of the time it doesn't go the right way because, and as you see there, that was 160k damage and Rathalos is just going to carry this. But as you see, Doom Priest and PK are healing through so much of this. The shielding is doing so much to keep these guys alive. There's 90k and I believe within the next couple rounds we should be able to beat this. So this is about a little over three minutes. Not the best, not the fastest, but if you have auto battles, and there you go, 374k right there, as you see. And look at that, we get some some decent gear, nothing crazy. But as you see, Rathalos did 2.6 million damage by himself. So let's run it one more time, just to give a better, hopefully a better, and for some reason he's leading with his Dogs of War, so I might take it off auto just to fix that a little bit. So there's the HP burns. And when it gets up to Artax turn, I want to turn this off. Uh, I'm not going to like put too much emphasis on who I should be attacking because I do want this to be kind of an auto. I just want to make sure he is doing his abilities. So we want the Dogs of War to go after the... Let's get the block buffs going. And we'll just... Uh, hello? We'll just attack through this. There we go. Sure, we'll, we'll attack whoever. So normally he would do Dogs of War here. So we're going to attack normally. And we're going to have the preset set up. This should clear most of the wave, if not all of it. Okay, there we go. And as you see, our attack is getting focused, but we're not too worried about that. And I normally would use it here, but I'm actually going to save it. Because I want him to use it on the next wave. Now you can set this up yourself and it's no big deal. There we go. So on the second wave, you see Artex alive. So we want to throw this down first. And I believe I could just auto it from here. We get the cooldowns going. But again, this is another reason why presets are so good. Because I could set this up for preset to just do it on its own. But he should Dogs of War. He Yep. Nope. All right. We'll see. But as you see, our attack is going to survive this time, no problem. And then you guys are going to see it's a lot faster with our attack being alive to clear the dragon. So it looks like everyone's going to survive. There's one. We'll get the cooldowns. Again. All right. All the buffs. Boom. 100. Bro, Rathalos damage. I've actually underestimated Rathalos. I used him in a clan boss team without HP debuff. And I just feel like his damage was lacking by so much. But since I've started to use him in these dungeons, his damage is insane. And this is without the defense. Oh, there's a defense decrease is what we like to see. We want to see defense decrease, HP burn, and then we want Rathalos to do his fifth skill, if possible. To hit, like, the biggest chunk. But, again, we're just going to push through this. And I guess it's about the same time. Not, like, the craziest difference. But, as you guys see, we're chunking the dragon down way more and I'm just waiting for Rathalos to hit his big chunk I believe it's coming up soon it's gonna be it, it'd be nice to see something crazy 
but I believe it's on his A2 that he that he does it. Decrease down. We have the HP burns. So hopefully Rathalos chunks. Nope. All right. All right, Rathalos. Oh, there it is. Did you guys see that? 600k damage. Rathalos just chunked him for 600k. And that's why we have Rathalos in with the defense decrease and the HP burn. His A2 ignoring all defense. He procced 600k. So he literally, I mean, did more damage than in that one ability than most of my champions. So that's why this is the team I'm going with. And so far, I'm able to clear Dragon. The fastest I've done is two minutes, but usually around three minutes. But I can run this on auto. I can go do whatever I have to do and get a bunch of new gear, get some toxic gear to put on with some tanky champions. But for the most part, that's pretty much all we have for you today. I'm going to put out a new video uh, on Artek being a campaign farmer. But if you guys want to see what he does in Spider 20, check out this video right here. But until next time, as always, guys, Senpai out.